Greetings, yeah. everyone. Welcome to the last match for today, for day two of Seed Story Cup number five. And this is going to be the decider match of group, what was it, H? Yeah, group H. And this is going to be between Tempo Storm's Just Saiyan and versus purple. Gamers Origins Purple. Oh. What do you think about this match, about those two uh, players? I think uh, Saiyan bought a really interesting deck with the Bog Champ Shaman. Oh yeah, that, that deck has see. been making waves for yeah. sure. And yeah. Fred Ann went 6 0 with it. Saiyan did really well with it. He won a game last year. I didn't expect him to win. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so um, definitely looking forward to see how this match will pan out. And also, it would be nice if I wouldn't be able to hear those noises in my head from the <laughs> <laughs> from from the production crew. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> what do you think about purple's side? Uh, well, purple. Um, we we already have the classes and the bands. Yeah. So just saying, uh, the Bog Champ Shaman unfortunately yeah. got banned uh, by purple. So just saying, decks will be Druid, Warlock, Warrior, and purple will be playing Druid. Shaman and Warlock, because his warrior got banned. Yeah. So uh, the druid from Just Saiyan, uh, as we know, is going to be a Cthulhu druid featuring yeah. Yogg, if I heard that correct. Yeah. <laughs> and and <laughs> and this warrior is a dragon warrior. And we're we're waiting yeah. for the players to arrive. Actually, still, um, it seems like Just Saiyan is taking a toilet break or whatever. <laughs> 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 but yeah, we'll we'll have to see. Uh, anyway. Who do you think is going to be the favorite in this matchup? Uh, based off of just lineups, I think hmm? it's pretty similar. The uh, Yogg Druid, from my experience, usually beats the Cthulhu Druid. Uh, Shaman's good against Druid, and Warlock is good against Druid. But it is a Druid, so you know it can have those draws where it just does well anyway, gets the wild growth in the interface. Oh, uh, yeah, and for the uh, the shaman, yeah, for Saiyan side, the warlock does well against most of the field. There's the warlock mirror that can be fifty fifty, but it's favored. Uh, the warrior's dragon warrior, so it's also like slightly favored against most of the field. I'd give the edge to Saiyan by a little bit. Yeah, all right. Um, so it seems like the players are getting ready and getting into the game fairly soon. So uh, yeah, overall, while the players are still getting ready, how was your? <laughs> how did you enjoy Sea Story so far? Uh, sea Story has been really fun, just playing like the mini games, hanging out with people, discussing plays. I unfortunately went one two in my group and didn't make it out, but besides that, it's really fun. So, what was the expectation actually going into this tournament? I mean, it's your first history cup, and the field is obviously very stacked. Yeah. So, uh, what what were your what were your expectations going into this tournament? Uh, my expectation, I did expect to make it out of my group. Uh, unfortunately, traveling to Europe, I was pretty tired the first day, and my first match I played like right after waking up, like just ten minutes after. So I was a little disappointed with my play in the first series. I kind of made up for it against Reynad, and then uh, in the third match against Tice, I just couldn't beat his rogue. Yeah, we've we've seen these uh, kind of we've seen these kind of matchups happen multiple times throughout this tournament. I mean, the same guys playing twice yeah. in each group, and both uh, and I think like almost every time, um, the guy who won the first time won the second time as well. Yeah. For example, Eloise beat Forsen twice, yeah. Jackie Chan beat Gara twice, yeah. and Tice beat you twice. For <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like slightly favored to, you know, I'm not upset about it or anything. Yeah. But it kind of tends to happen if you're beating someone twice. It's usually not just because you got lucky and your matchup's probably just a little bit favored. Right. Yeah, it's it's actually uh, if we look at the time, it's very late, uh, as you might tell. Uh, <laughs> almost, uh, yeah, almost two a.m. Yeah. Do you think this will actually affect the players? Oh uh, yeah, most people have been here all day, like since twelve, pretty much. So being here all day, drinking Red Bull all day. You know, some of them might be crashing, but I think they're good. Oh, my. 
very important match. So. Yeah, these two players are probably no, no strangers to the grind of Hearthstone, yeah. and uh, we will see. Hopefully, we will see a high quality match between those two players. And right off the bat, we see Purple, much like Firebat. Yep. He did bring the um, York Druid featuring Sea Giant. Yeah, that I is a very interesting tech. What do you think about that? I talked with Firebat a little bit. He like kind of explained it. It's like. They're banning the warrior and they're expecting a lot of zoo and shaman and it's just good against those two. And you're generating tokens yourself with the violet teacher, so I like yeah. it. Yeah, for sure. Against uh, decks like shaman and uh, zoo that tend to put a lot of minions on the board, obviously it's going to be cheap. Yeah. And uh, and also in the mirror matchup, um, there's a lot of stuff happening on the board as well. So it's reasonable, right? You ban the warrior, it's not vulnerable to execute in that case. Seems like a good call. Yeah, and... Saiyan's case, the uh, shaman isn't a shaman that floods the board, but the druid and the zoo from Saiyan are pretty weak to the sea giant. Sorry, we have, we have a very, very aggressive start by just Saiyan's uh, yeah. Cthulhu druid here, accelerating all those Cthulhu synergy minions right off the bat, already enabling whatever kind of Cthulhu uh, minion he will have, the Twin Emperor or the Klaxi Ember Weaver. What do you think about Swipe versus just Wrath and Hero Power? Uh, I like the uh, Swipe more in this situation because it's against uh, the beefy minions that Cthulhu Druid will usually have. It's um, hard to set up like a good Swipe and the Wrath is more versatile and also Gives you better options yeah. because it's cheaper. Could see that. I right, going for the ramp as well. The two two doesn't really influence much on the board. Yeah. Even though the two two synergizes well with the sea giant in theory, obviously so does the mana crystal. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they both reduce its cost by one. That's right. Canvas. Yeah. So what do you think? Is this uh, dark Araqua already worth mulching? Uh, I think you just, yeah. Oh yeah, that's wrath for damage. Yeah, for damage wrath seems reasonable as well. Do you think we're gonna see the living roots to the face as well? Uh, probably don't arcane shot this. I mean, it's it puts two minions on the board, yeah. so that might be relevant because of the sea giant, right? Like the Saiyan once removed the fender, right? So like the common ways are like swipe wrath. And Living Roots. Yeah, I guess if you're expecting a, a swipe, then Living Roots would be kind of bad. To just, yeah, make a swipe, makes Just Saints swipe even better. Yeah. All right, the board is clear once again, but Purple has the initiative, and this Emperor on an empty board, as we all know, is pretty good. Yeah. Fortunately for Just Saints, he will be able to deal with it immediately, thanks to a second swipe. Yeah, Yogdrid has a lot of cards that you just want to get rid of immediately. You don't want to let the Emperor stand on the board. You don't want to let the Fandral stand on the board, the Teacher either. Just so many cards that demand removal. Yeah, and sometimes um, Druid yeah, has issues dealing with single target minions. Yeah. Uh, sometimes. Can't Especially the big ones. Them. Eventually, eventually you, will, you would be able to maybe even use a Mulch, and then the Sea Giant shines, right? Yeah. But uh, Cthulhu Druids generally don't run Mulch anymore, as far as I know, right? Or do we know uh, if Just Saiyan plays it? I'm not sure if he plays it, but he is playing Raven Idol, so that can look for them. And there's also the Naturalize now for him. Yeah, the Naturalize is, <laughs> is kind of interesting. Generally, not uh, Yog Druid is one of those decks uh, where you don't really want to give extra cards yeah. since, uh, yeah, thanks to Innervate, uh, is the deck is able to just play a lot of cards at the same time and generate a huge board while doing so. I'm ready to learn. Uh, okay, yeah. So yeah, Purple obviously going ahead and putting as many minions on the board as possible since he knows that both swipes are now gone. Sure, he, there's still this mystery card from the Raven Idol that he doesn't know what it is yet. It could be a third swipe, but obviously you don't play around that. Yeah. And spamming all these minions, both swipes have been used. It's unlikely for a swiper Starfall to come off the Raven Idol, yeah. so 
This Wisp of the Old God is gonna be <laughs> Yeah, five, <huge. laughs> five minions on the board already. Oh boy, and and you can even squeeze in a Violet Teacher. Yeah. Or or this, or just play Mulch to get rid of the Arakoa. Yeah, probably going with the Mulch, I'd say. Uh. Yeah, I can't blame him for the Violet Teacher either. Like, the, Violet, the Mulch can find even better targets. Because yeah, obviously comes to mind. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, this is this is just so sick. And purple now the huge favorite to win this game potentially in the next turn. Yeah. Let's just say in has some big plays ready and who yeah. to deliver <laughs> bigger plays than Yoxaron himself. And there it is, cleans right. up the board perfectly. <laughs> and purple just cannot <laughs> believe this. Especially considering that just saying didn't even play that many spells yet. Yeah. How many spells are this? Like five spells right now? This is the fifth spell. Yeah. Six, Six. Seven. Oh, oh, okay, it was okay, okay. It was more spells than I actually expected. Uh, nine spells is a pretty good amount. It's, it's for a good the it's a good amount for yeah. Yogg. But yeah, of course. There's no minions on the board for Just Sane and Purple has a lot of stuff in hand that he can just play. Yeah. Refill the board immediately. Yeah, he refills the board just to get it yogged away again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I, I totally forgot it was yeah, it was vanished. vanished. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just yog again. That's always the best feeling, right? If you're able to yog multiple times. Yeah. And nine spells is pretty likely to just deal with it. Yeah, same way it dealt with the whole board last time. Yeah. I just want to see yog again. And we get it. Just yog saying. Yog every turn. <laughs> double yog, double Renounce swag. Darkness. Gets a master jouster, which is plus one, plus one. Oh, draws the cartoon as well. How big is cartoon right now? It uh, was buffed like a lot already, yeah. I feel like. Oh, clear the board. Yeah? The expected outcome, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and purple must not be liking this. <laughs> Getting his board dealt with twice in a row. Yeah, at least he didn't have to spend resources the second time around since most of it was just cards that got banished the first time, but... True, but look at the, all this yeah. card advantages just saying generated. He drew so many cards off of that Theok. So many that he even has to <laughs> overdraw now, but fortunately for him it was like kind of a worthless card, I suppose. Yeah. Got the 10 10 now, but. <laughs> oh, that was created by Farsight. <laughs> I didn't even know. Yeah. Oh. God, Purple says yeah. anything you can do, I can do probably worse. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing how, how, how well. Screen. How well uh, <laughs> Just Saints Yogg functioned and. Purple just killing off his own minions instead. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a prep play since the mulch and the wild growth are green. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Could also be in right now. Flame lands. That's a good hit. But that's about it. And. Yeah. <laughs> this is a pretty <laughs> awkward board now. Purple, of course, has the option of still going for the mulch just to preserve a lot of health on his own Ancient of War. Yeah. Or. I guess his thinking is taking 10 damage, okay? Uh. Yeah. I don't know, I guess he really wants to save that mulch for Cthune, but... Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a 17-17. Yeah, I mean, it's reasonable, right? But you could also just play in a way that you think you might, your opponent might as well not have the Cthune, but um, if we take a look at the card count, only seven cards... Uh, no, only five cards remaining for Just Saiyan, actually, so... Yeah. The, the, by that time, Cthune obviously would have been drawn, I suppose. So, Purple wisely keeping that mulch, after all. And now is also forced to gain some ar gain himself some armor just to not die immediately. But we see, however, as well that Fandral Double staying on the board the spells disaster. P 
purple in dire straits here with a triple nourish it's not going to be worth yeah. anything <laughs> and yeah just saying takes the first game double york for the win yeah and purple's york failing him unfortunately but this is uh yeah this is the meta currently so <laughs> not much you can do about that <laughs> yeah uh yeah but of course um the remaining per decks of purple definitely have the potential to still win this whole, a whole series for him. He's got the um, aggro shaman and uh, this warlock. Yeah. Which one do you think he goes with next? I'd probably say the warlock, right? Yeah, the warlock's chances are definitely greater. Yeah. So I would uh, not be surprised if purple queues up that deck. And yeah, there we see it. It's going to be the zoo lock. Yeah. Starting off with Voidwalker and double power overwhelming. He gets rid of both the powers. Yeah, having the power of Wallmings against Root in general is pretty good. However, you need also would like to have the right minions um, to target the power of Wallmings yeah. to, onto, right? So you would like to have the Possessed Villager or the Arshan Squire. Definitely don't like to power of Wallm beef your low drops like the Flame for example. Yeah. I never had Disciple of Cthulhu, it's just a very good answer to turn on Flame in. It's oh. like similar to like coin SI agent. There's something you don't want to see as well. Yeah. <laughs> but innovate oh yeah. man, yeah, it's it's, it's very rough. And purple as well. Purple just uh, didn't like the side of that. Yeah. Smashing his fist on the table in anger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you just play the fan draw, right? Yeah, is this is this just this is just really a sick opening again by just saying Double innervate as the druid against against Zoo is always a good spot to be in, right? Mm -hmm. But he decides to wait yeah. a little longer, and why not, right? You, That's you can, uh, to power one. The the longer you wait with the Fandral, the more value you will get because he has two choose one spells already. If he's able to use both of them at the same time, it's going to be really good for him. Yeah. In the meantime, Purple's turn, kind of kind of meh, just playing. <laughs> A pretty <laughs> bad one drop <laughs> and it's uh, being forced to live tap. Yeah. Not the kind of opening that Purple imagined in this matchup. Still not amazing for him. Hmm. Now this is interesting. He had the option of going for the Dark Iron Dwarf, get, get rid of a clunky card in his hand. Obviously, the battle cry would have been kind of wasted if his plan was to go for the. Cthulhu's sure. chosen in this situation, but uh, having the 4-4 body on the board can't be bad as well. Because of the top. But it seems like he cho he wanted to get more options with the life tap as well. And of, of course, also, now he has the minions that he wants to put power overwhelming on. Yeah. Obviously, you don't want to have power being forced... You don't want to be forced to play power overwhelming on the Dark Iron Dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> Purple cannot believe his eyes. Double innervate. Yeah, it's real. It's real purple. So now, power warming and dark iron dwarf is just a very good answer. It, to it is a definitely a very good answer. I mean, that's the power of Zoo, right? It's it's definitely always able, to, with all those combat tricks, to deal with all types of minions. Very versatile when it comes to yeah minion on minion action. Goes with the Drill the Claw charge so that it doesn't just get a uh, two for one by another power overwhelming. Yeah, just any type of buff really. Yeah. And here we go. Fun with Fandral. Rathing first. Maybe pick up another innovate. Oh, actually, <laughs> a third innovate yeah, would be kind of be a third good. innovate would be cheating, I guess. <laughs> Argus. You shall not pass. But I imagine we will see the Fandral die here. Yeah. Never a good time when you're leaving a Fandral out. We saw that last game. So, Purple also had the option of buffing the 1-1 one -one instead of the uh, Councilman. He placed his shield bearer differently. What do you think about that? Uh, is, it, is it better to like have the Councilman at 3 health and have it ta uh, have taunt, or...? Uh, 
Wait, are you saying the councilman, the one one instead of the councilman, and have the councilman? Yeah, yeah, the council have the councilman as a five two, basically. Okay. Or is the six three better? Um. Well, in this situation, it's worse, but I don't. I don't hate it. Like, if the answer is like living roots, he's still taking the damage at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a shame that the councilman died for purple because he had so many, thanks to Forbidden Ritual, so many minions spawning on his side of the board. That councilman would have gotten in for a lot of damage. And yeah, the swipe right on time after the Forbidden Ritual. Perfect answer. And just saying, keeping up with the board that the purple is providing at every turn. He also has uh, Ancient of War right after this. Probably. Play the ritual. We just saw a swipe. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Also, getting rid of the ritual before playing Doom Guard. Also, very valuable. Because you cannot play ritual uh, before playing Doom Guard on the same turn. Yeah. Unfortunately. So. Play everything, tap, see what you get. Well, that is still a very scary <laughs> board for purple. I mean, yeah. he manages to like keep com keep on coming and keep on coming. Uh, that's <laughs> really big draw. Yeah, that Nerush might find just yeah. saying just what he needs. The Cyber of Cthulhu is a good start. Being able to handle this Doomguard with ease. But also another Second swipe, swipe even. Oh my goodness. Good too. This is amazing. Yeah, and definitely clearing everything besides that Void Walker. <laughs> it's so huge. And Purple already sees, yeah. yeah. He's just throwing his hands in the air. It's, this is, yeah, he's just asking himself, yeah. is this real life <laughs> or is this just fantasy? <laughs> No escape from this Hearthstone reality. Saiyan just keeps finding what he needs and it's just clawing his way. Well, he's continuing to <laughs> keep <laughs> his lead. That's a I think I think purple. Yeah. yeah. He sees the twin emperor. Purple. I mean at this point he pretty much expects the worst case scenario yeah. at all times, right? Purple is probably just starting to think about the next game now. Yeah, Power of Whelming or Soulfire kind of both do the same thing in this situation, being able to deal with a Twin Emperor easy, more easy. But she said some Mortal Coil instead, trying to find something better, which of course there's nothing. And yeah, Purple has to concede the second game as well to that Cthulhu Druid by just saying, featuring Yogg-Saron. Yeah, Yogg-Saron did a lot of work in the first game. This is the first time I actually see something like this. Being a, a Druid player plays Cthulhu and Yogg-Saron in the same deck. Yeah, did, you, did you see that? Most people usually just play one or the other. Uh, you know, having the Raven Idols in the Cthulhu Druid deck does help with powering up the Yogg-Saron, though. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it's still a Druid deck, and Druid decks in general run a lot of spells. So, yeah. yeah. And it's not, it's not the first time I saw a Raven Idol in a Cthulhu Druid, for example. So it's a natural fit, right? Of course, Druid has, as a class, Druid has sometimes a lot of issues clearing boards. And the Oxaron obviously is a big help in that regard. Yeah. So uh, it's, it seems like a natural fit, even in the Cthulhu Druid. Uh, early, early versions of Cthulhu Druid played Raven Idol, then it kind of got phased out. But if you want to play Yogg in it, it just makes sense to play the Raven Idol again. Indeed. And now Purple has to put all of his faith into his last deck, which is the Aggressive Shaman. And right off the bat, just saying, also with the Living Roots, being able to deal with the Tunnel, tunnel Truck immediately. And now Purple has to find a way to pressure just saying as much as possible before he's able to stabilize with 
a whole bunch of a whole bunch of taunters. Yeah. It probably just plays the Twilight Elder here. Yeah, the Twilight Elder offers strong board presence, but on the other hand, we also see Purple with the perfect answer. That Lightning Bolt being able to deal four damage can squeeze in this Flame Tank Totem as well to deal an yeah. additional four to the face. Push five damage seems good. Ooh, interesting. He decides to go for the Finley, so hmm. it seems like Lightning Bolt will not be played right now. Yeah, well, I was gonna play the 7 7 next turn. Yeah, that is arguably <laughs> a lot more threatening to the Druid than, uh, yeah, just a bunch of Feral Spirits, yeah. I suppose. So, yeah, definitely also a very good line of play by Purple here. And there's no really good answer for it. Yeah, it's gonna get blocked by the uh, Twin Emperor next turn since Cthulhu is that. No, it's at 9 now, right? He's only got buffed once by the Twilight Elder. So he doesn't even have that as an answer to it. Oh, but this Ancient of War... <laughs> being able to innovate that one out and then... Imagine he draws into a Dark Arakoa, followed up by Twin Emperor. That's the dream right yeah. there. Purple just can't believe it. He, he's like, how does he draw all those innervates? <laughs> yeah, all innervates every game. <laughs> <laughs> but Purple, no reason to yeah. be upset so much. He can deal with this Ancient of War fairly easily. The 7-7 seven seven obviously surviving it, thanks to the, big the, thanks to the large amount of health. Along with the Lightning Bolt, he's able to clear it. Push some more damage with the hero power and the two one ones. Yeah, there's no immediate answer for the seven two, so purple still isn't in that bad of a position right now. Yeah, but now as we see, it wasn't quite a dark Arakoa. However, yeah. now the now the twin emperor is enabled, so that will. Definitely not be something that Purple will like to see here. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, Tunnel Truck Feral Spirits gives you the biggest board presence right now when it comes to attack. And he's able to follow it up with a Doom Hammer. Yep. Still allows if you to develop Doom Hammer next turn. Yeah, also, if uh, with, this ki with this kind of board right now, it's very likely that Truck will survive, so Doom Hammer will buff Truck even further. That's really big. Uh, so probably trade the 7-2 in and double attack the Doom Hammer. And trade the 2-3 and attack for 5. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Just, yeah, sure, you take... Uh, take 8. You take 8 to the face, but with 30 health still, <laughs> it's yeah. not really that big of a threat. Put the Shaman, I mean, put the Druid down to 13 while you have Doom Hammer yeah. Rockbiter and 100 Hero Powers. Yeah, I mean, this, this looks very good for Purple. Which is probably why he <laughs> wasn't so tilted about this Twin Emperor. However, he decides to... That's interesting. Yeah. That he values 4 health over having a Tunnel Chog instead of a Wolf. Yeah, this is very interesting. Huh. He also dealt less immediate damage that way, yeah. right? Like the, with the truck, he would have dealt yeah, one more damage as well. 4 instead of 5. Yeah, one more damage from the tr one more damage on the turn he attacked, and basically three more damage, considering that just Saiyan would have attacked into his truck with the zero power. So with Saiyan wild growth thing, um, it, it kind of shows that he's going for a Yog or has a Yog. Yeah. So I like put him down the one where it makes the Yog more risky for him. <laughs> and now we, it's time to praise Yog <laughs> once again. <laughs> Will will he? How much? How many heal spells will he pull, or ice right. barriers, or whatever? <laughs> or Purple's been unlucky enough already. Just have the Yog uh, kill Saiyan on the first guard or something. Triple Pur pyro blast to the face. Oh, mind blast. Purple Sec doesn't need that. Sextuple mind blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my that god. There it is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> unlucky, unlucky. That 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 definitely hit the wrong face there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if Purple could take another game being lost to Yogg there. 
Yeah, but uh, fortunately for Purple and for the viewers like, at home, <laughs> yeah. this matchup continues yeah, and we'll be able games. to see more games. Yeah. Just to, so now just saying still has two decks at his disposal. Yep. We have his Warlock deck, which is probably Zoo, Zoo and, and a Warrior, Warrior deck, which is a Dragon Warrior. Those are both pretty good against Shaman. Purple has a pretty uphill road to go through to get out of this group stage. Yeah, but uh, Shaman, obviously one of the strongest classes in the game, yeah. definitely able to beat every type of deck. <laughs> and this is a pretty good hand, like Coin, Totem Golem, Tunnel Trog, Tuscar, and to 4 mana 7 7. It's a pretty nice curve to have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the other hand, we got purple with the um, no saying. I mean, yeah. with the Void Walker, Flame Imp, and Defender of Argus still deciding which cards to keep. Yeah, I like keeping both the one drops, and he picks up the third one. That's a pretty amazing curve as well. <laughs> yeah, can't go wrong with Just triple one drop. One into one, one into three drop, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, if if purple decides to coin out this uh, totem golem, then Sain will really. Appreciate a direwolf alpha or a piece of sergeant. Yeah. The uh, abuse of sergeant's just not strong enough. If they have a void walker, then you get pretty punished for that. Yeah. I suppose the void walker here for Saiyan is also pretty good since the totem golem will be forced to attack into it. Yeah. And then. Yeah. The, it will be it will, it will be killed by one of those flames yeah. fairly easily. Or it gets contested and then it's just the uh, M gang boss up. Since the abusive surgeon is very likely to trade into the flame amp unless there's a flame tongue totem maybe. Gets the mana totem, which yeah. is pretty good as well. Yeah, that's really good for purple. Like having double lava burst in your hand isn't exactly what you want to see. But, as we all know, uh, Zoo does tend to life tap a lot. Yeah. And play some. And with the Flame Imps played already, already just saying, already took a whole bunch of damage without Purple, be <laughs> without, without purple having attacked even once. So, yeah, a couple of more life taps, a couple of more life taps more could lead to Saiyan's Doom here with the Lava Burst if Purple is able to squeeze in a couple more damage with minions or with the Doom Hammer that he, he could still draw. Yeah, so what do you think Purple's going to do this turn? Yeah, this turn is tricky. Just saying has a big board, but uh, there's plenty of ways to yeah, to buff your mana tide, get some value in. I think you would kind of like to keep the mana tide around. Yeah. So not not run into this imp gang boss, just just buff it with the abusive maybe, but uh yeah, it's, it seems like Purple decides to go for the 7/7 seven, seven instead. It's unfortunate for so Purple that uh, Saiyan has the power overwhelming to enter it. Oh yeah. And the mana tide totem will also rip in pepperonis. Yeah. Gets the juggle too, so it doesn't have to waste the damage. Do we know if Purple actually runs Lightning Storm in his deck? Yeah, he plays one. All right, so yeah, that's uh, certainly yeah. a card that he will be looking for. <laughs> <laughs> There's any card that's hanging in the situation. It's definitely Lightning Storm, and probably only Lightning Storm. Yeah. Don't worry, love. The cavalry's here. Yeah, it's <laughs> right now. It seems like Purple is trying to <laughs> mend fires with, <laughs> with like drips of small drips <laughs> of water. <laughs> And Tyson nice Reliquary is secret too, so. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad for Purple. Yeah. And Reliquary Seeker has big plans and yeah. gets big. Yeah, Purple just. Can't believe his tournament life ends like this. But yeah. this is certainly what it looks like right now. He's able to clear a bunch of this board, buff his Trog. La lava Burst being. But <laughs> seeing Lava Burst. Being used on a one drop that you got off of Peddler, yeah. that is definitely not something you want to see. But sure, I mean, it's what Purple has to do to take off as much damage off the board as possible, but there's still way too much 
Way yeah. too much. How much damage is that? Five. Yeah. That is a lot. It's a lot. And that might that's actually lethal. that's actually yeah. lethal. It's <laughs> exactly so. so. Oh man, and yeah, purple. In this in complete disbelief, but yeah, it's, that's just yeah. how it goes sometimes, you know. And sometimes there's just nothing you can really do about it. But congrats to Saiyan going on to the next day. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, Saiyan joining uh, an illustrious group of uh, players in the round of 16. The next group phase, which will be played tomorrow. The third representative for Tempo Storm as well. Yeah. Tempo Storm is just doing really good this tournament. Well, granted they had five players, so yeah, <laughs> most I mean, out of any team, but still, like three out of five. Still, three out of five is very good. good. And uh, Saiyan and uh, Frodan were both playing the Conceit Shaman deck, so you know. Yeah, the Bog Champ Shaman, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a pretty good deck. I, yep. If you haven't seen it yet, I suggest you check it out and try it out. It's been all over ladder, as I've seen already. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty good deck, and I'm looking forward to see more of that for sure. So uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Can we see like maybe the groups again on on the the group graphic, uh, just yeah. to show you? Hopefully. <laughs> oh no. Oh. No, Too groups, bad. Well, you bad can ob obviously you can check out all the groups and uh, brackets and all all that good stuff uh, at seedstorycup.com slash brackets and there you can see pretty much everything. Yep. So yeah, be sure to tune in to, uh, to day three of Seed Story Cup number five tomorrow. We start at uh, 2 p.m. I think again, CEST. Central European time. Yeah. And we're going to have uh, obviously the A stream once again, but also this yeah. B stream that we're on right now. So um, yeah, the B stream don't, doesn't really get much love. <laughs> <laughs> compared to the A stream, yeah. so be sure to go to also go to Twitch TV slash Take TV Black, where everything is, uh, where you get all the action from the B stream, which will take place tomorrow as well. Yeah, really good players on both sides. They all made it out of group, so you should watch both of them to try and make sure you check both of them out. Maybe multi Twitch both of them, have them both up at the same time. Yeah, definitely. I'm. I mean, a lot. All those players deserve um, recognition, and yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's gonna be a tough bracket for sure. Yeah, I'm really I really couldn't predict who would be able to, yeah, get out of there into the top eight and take the whole thing. Obviously, I hope it's me, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll oh have yeah. to see. My group is pretty tough. I got Eloise, Frodan, and Nyman. So yep. I'm playing Nyman first tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna Confident. be a tough one. Ah, we'll see. I'm I'm gonna prepare a little bit, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that, that's gonna be that's gonna be it for from us. This is Terence yeah. M. I'm Ekop, and you're watching Seed Story Cup number five. Take care.